Yesterday, the new LEGO Darth Vader's castle was uh, finally revealed, and it actually looks really great. The castle's interior itself looks really good. I love the little rooms, even if they may look a little bit crammed, but they still look pretty good. Even got a little room for the TIE Fighter and a uh, little tank room for Anakin. And the exterior of the castle looks really good too. I even love the little details of the rocks and lava. It looks so good. Which, speaking of which, I'm really wondering if there's lava, does that mean the castle is near Mustafar? I don't know. And it looks like we do have a pretty good selection of minifigures too. Like you got those great Red Guard minifigures. And of course the great new updated Darth Vader that was introduced uh, a while ago. Still great. And looks like the new Trooper minifigure and a new... An Burned up Anakin minifigure too, I think. It looks like for a side build, we got this nice mini TIE fighter, which I've heard is up to the scale of the new Cloud City Slave 1, which I think that's interesting. Maybe that could become a thing with Lego. Though I personally think it almost looks like the TIE fighter from the UCS Death Star. And it is pretty good for a bit smaller build. I like it that you can even fit Darth Vader in there, so it's small but still big enough to fit a figure in there and I just think that's so cool. What I think is really interesting though is that it's apparently going to be exclusive on Amazon which I find that really interesting I'm not sure if that's been done before. Though I think MNR was just pointing out just now that maybe it won't sell as well that way but I don't know I guess we'll see. And finally for once a Lego Star Wars set that's decently priced. I mean 130 I thought that was a little bit overpriced at first but then I realized it was over a thousand pieces and so is the Jurassic World Mansion uh, which was also $130 so so overall, I think it's a pretty great set. It almost looks mock-like, actually, I think. And looks like it's at, at a decent price, a pretty good set, and, fig and pretty good uh, minifigure selection. So I'll be looking forward to it. And pre-orders are starting now, by the way. Oh, and the box art looks amazing, too. If this is the new 2018 LEGO Star Wars logo design, then awesome. Though I do not know what Jets Good means by when he thinks it's sexy. I don't know. He's just too weird sometimes. Anyway, so that's my thoughts on the LEGO Darth Vader's castle. Um, what do you guys think of this set? Let me know in the comments down below, and be sure to subscribe if you want to see more videos, and I'll see you all later.